hello friends welcome to the channel it simplified i hope you're having good time with your family and friends in today's session on veritas and it's a quick video on backup exec i'm here to show you how you can use it to protect your data from ransomware attacks so as we are all familiar that uh, in the recent past ransomware attack has become uh, quite common in which these uh, attackers they will try to hold your data for ransom and if you don't pay them uh, you won't get data and in certain cases we have seen that uh, even if you pay that ransom it is not guaranteed that you can uh, get that data back so it is important that whatever solution you're using in the environment any uh, vendor that you're using to protect your data uh, it is able to protect it from these uh, attackers and with the backup exec 20.4 version there is something what you call ransomware resiliency that's a new feature that they have included and i think that's pretty powerful so let me just quickly show you if i go and configure the storage that will be enabled automatically and as you can see i have a configured a storage with the name be storage repository if you want to create one you can just right click and go and click configure storage and uh, that resiliency will be automatically enabled. And if you want to see that, if I expand this Veritas logo, go to configuration and setting and go to backup exec setting. And you will find that under network and security. And it's right over here. The disk storage will be under the lockdown settings. And it is basically enabled by default and what does that mean is only backup exec has access to that storage to write so basically write once read many so if an attacker is trying to come from outside and trying to get your data try to change that data or get inside that uh, repository he or she won't be able to do that and this will make sure that your data is protected from these ransomware kind of attack and uh, as i said that uh, this functionality is there since 20.4 version we're in 20.5 version of backup exec so i thought i'll share that i hope you found this video on backup exec useful thanks for watching have a good day